you know, this, we're, we're winding down to the end of the season and, and unfortunately winding down to the end of your time at Derbyshire. It's been a, a really exciting few years. You've provided so many great memories, but what are your reflections on your time with the club? Oh, it's been unbelievable. Um, if someone had to say to me five years ago um, when I rocked up here in, in March, it was uh, for a couple of days to meet the lads and, and Dave out and introduce me to everyone. Um, if, I, if I had to predict the future and say that I'd be here in five years' time, I would have, I would have, probably, I would have, I would have probably said you're joking. Um, yeah, I've, I've had a magnificent time and um, thoroughly enjoyed the last two years in particular also. Um, I thought we've grown as a club quite a lot. Um, unfortunately, you know, the results have not shown that yet, but, you know, I can comfortably say that, you know, I'm leaving and, and the club is, you know, in a better place than, than I probably was when I, when I got you. Um, and I'm really, pr I'm really proud of that. Um, I've enjoyed the captaincy also, enjoyed the extra responsibility. I've learned so much uh, about my game and I'm grateful that Mickey uh, given me that opportunity also. Yeah, and you've enjoyed some, some great moments. I mean, going to finals day uh, and, and being batting for so long at Bristol to, to get there uh, initially. If you look, I think back to Edgebaston this season, all the wins over Yorkshire at Queen's Park. What are some of your favourite memories? Yeah, you've highlighted, you've highlighted basically all of them. Um, I mean, there's so many, uh, you know, if I had to go and try and write everything down, I'd, I'd, you know, I'd, it'll probably be very nostalgic in a way. But yeah, I'd say the early, probably my, my, my earliest memory um, at Derby was actually playing my first game here. Um, you know, I'm, I'm used to not really playing in front of crowds. But, you know, when I first got here, it was, you know, max a few families and, and, and you know, Bit of supporters here and there that came and watched games. So um, I remember the first four I hit of uh, Jason Holder, um, and it sounded like rain that that fall that falls on a roof. That that's our, that's that's the vivid memory I have. So that was probably the first cool memory. It was like actually playing in front of crowds, um, and then getting to finals. That was pretty special. Um, I remember that that victory we had uh, at Bristol. It was funny going back there the other day now to go play for the cricket way different. You know, the, the whole expectation and, and the whole game was, was different. But um, yeah, 2019 getting to finals, that was pretty special for the club. And, and I realised that unfortunately we, we didn't make the most of it at finals day. But, you know, that, that'll that be something that I'm sure the club will aspire to in, in the next few years. And, you know, looking looking at the signings that they've made, there's no reason why they shouldn't, uh, shouldn't get in there. Um, and then, if, yeah, if I go to 2020, it's a pretty funny year with COVID and all that, but eventually we got some cricket in. And then the first game we played, we beat Knott um, in a four day game. It was that incredible chase um, for Nuts and Prentice. Uh, played an unbelievable knock in, in the second innings with Mikey Cohen. So, I mean, there's so many, so many memories. Um, I'm trying to think of, think of some more now. Um, you know, obviously the, the victories at Queen's Park were always just, I mean, that, that, that's probably my favourite time of the year that is, is at T20 um, at, at Chesterfield. And luckily enough, I'll, I'll retire for now my, my Derbyshire career without having uh, lost the T20 there, which is pretty cool. Um, if you think, you know, the great teams that we always play against uh, in Yorkshire, you know, they, they're always star-studded. Um, but we always seem to seem to have, a, have the wood over them there. Um, which is pretty special and yeah just home games over here um, you know I think Derby in, in general are so lucky to have a you know it's, it's quite an intimate ground I feel um, you know it's not the biggest but it's got a lot of atmosphere and a, a sure packs, a packs a punch and yeah great privilege to play, play uh, my home games here. Yeah and then we'll move on to your future we announced it was a couple of months ago now that you're leaving you're going to Middlesex um, you're going to be playing at Lords. There's been a lot of speculation about reasons. There always is when players move on. But what are your reasons for leaving? I mean, Mickey's already spoken about how you're never satisfied just being comfortable. You, you want to always yeah. challenge yourself, and, and that's a big reason, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's a time to, to come and there's a time to go. And um, I feel where I am in my career is, is probably 
the right time for me to, to, to move on. It's, it's not, not necessarily to something better, but to something different, a different challenge. Um, you know, and, and Mickey's provided that 100%. You know, um, the last two years, I can honestly say I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed and I have been challenged for sure. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I think it's, it's just a good time for me to, to try and challenge myself in a different environment. I've been here for five years. It's, you know, it's come and gone quite quickly, but it, it's also a long time. Eh? Um, you know, at the end of the day, you've, you've got, you're lucky if you play 10 years of, of, of cricket and, you know, as a career. So, um, you know, I, I, I feel like I'll, I'll leave in, in good spirit. And, you know, if I do happen to come back one day, then, you know, that'll be awesome. Um, but for now, I think that this, this is the best time. You know, I don't have any kids. Um, I don't have any extra responsibility that I've got to take care of. And, you know, it's, it's, it's actually, it's the best time for me to, to go down to a place like London. You mentioned there how, how Mickey's made it kind of such a challenge for you the last two years, kept you motivated, kept you you really enjoying your cricket. He's mentioned how close he is with you and how, how good a relationship he has with you. W what is that like from your point of view? Uh, the best way I can describe it is probably like my cricketing father in a way. Um, you know, he's he's really challenged me and, and pushed me to be a better player and a better person on and off the field, Mickey. Um, yeah, I mean, there's there's been times that you know we've we've really done well and, and times that we've not not done so well. But um, I feel like Mickey always tries and, and stay consistent as a as a coach, which I love tries and challenge you. I've never ever met someone that is as passionate about cricket that he is, um, which I admire. And, and it's almost brought a, re, like, uh, a renewed love for the game um, as such. Because you know, the, the county season can become really long. Um, and just before he joined, I had a really tough, tough year um, on and off the pitch. You know, I lost my stepdad and um, to COVID, I couldn't, I couldn't get back, and and it really affected my cricket. Also, I had a terrible season um, in, in Red Bull cricket. Um, so when when Mickey came, there was almost just like a rejuvenation, um, and you know, just a, a need to almost satisfy him in a way. Um, you know, I grew up admiring the pro tiers, and and you know, I, I still do, still love South Africa. Um, you know, and, and they were at their most successful when he was coach. Um, so yeah, just to have him as, as a head coach is just something special, something that I'll cherish for the rest of my life. Talking about, about Mickey there and, and you've mentioned the strength of the squad you're going to be leaving. Even though Leas Deploy leaves Derbyshire, Derbyshire's still in a very good place, aren't they? And, and you must be very excited to be able to watch the future from afar. Absolutely. You know, Building a squad and, and building a championship team does, does definitely not take a season or just two seasons. So, you know, even if you look back at when, when, when Hearts took over, you know, he also had to do some rebuilding in a way. Um, you know, and Mickey's picked up where almost where he's left off and, and he's even, you know, gone from strength to strength there. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm confident that Derby's in a, in a really good place, um, you know, might get the opportunity to play against them next year, which which will be funny. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm I'm really proud of of where this club is at the minute. Um, like I said, the results don't show it yet, but I'm confident that it will in the future. Yeah, and and Derbyshire members, I suppose one one of the pleas for them really is you know keep trusting in that process and and keep believing in Mickey and the team because the good times are coming. Yeah, you got You got to just keep trusting the process and, and the results will take care of itself. It's, you know, it's a cliche, it's a cliche for a reason. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm sure that, you know, as long as Mickey's here, you know, with, with the resume that he's got, you know, the knowledge about the game that he's got and, um, you know, the passion that he's got, I'm, I'm sure this, this club will be in a great place in, in, in not long to come. Eh? And lastly, this will be your goodbye. What? message do you give to the supporters that you'll be leaving by? Yeah, I think it'll be remiss of me not to say thank you. Um, you know, county cricket has always been something that, you know, I never thought I'd be able to do. Um, and to have Derbyshire as my home for five years, um, it's just, it was just something really special. And, and it's something that I'll look back in my life very fondly. Um, 
It's just, yeah, it's 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 grown so close to my heart. Um, you know, being around the lads, I've made some awesome mates. Um, played some, you know, played some games where you, you know, I can carry those memories for the rest of my life. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just so proud to be to be part of Derbyshire, and yeah, I'll just say thank you to the members and keep uh, the one message I will say to them going forward is just to, to keep the faith, keep believing, and keep supporting us because you know without them we won't be very far so so thank you yes i love it mate thank you cheers